In the news today, farmers intensify calls for easy access to funds as youths are encouraged to venture into agriculture. Women of Oka Anglican Diocese call on President Buhari to take urgent actions against insecurity. A good evening to you and thanks for joining us on the evening news on ABS. I am Ifanaya Amafili. The news in details. Farmers anywhere around the world, whether subsistent or commercial, hold the keys to society's food sufficiency and ultimate survival. In fact, the place of famine on the ladder of agro-societal importance remains tall. But only in a society that understands the indispensability of one of man's oldest means of living. However, what stands in the face of modern-day farmers, especially in Nigeria, remains as huge as it is often recorded. And our correspondent, Daniel Ezeigwe, in this special report, spoke with some farmers and stakeholders in the agro-sector on the future of agriculture and agribusiness on the sidelines of the launch of the 2019 Anambra farming season in Oka. He now completes the report. The launching of the farming season in Anambra State, which has now become an annual ritual, serves as one of the rarest avenues for farmers' convergence to compare, compete, and chart a fresher course for the unveiling of a new farming season. The farmers displayed their products in series as to boast of their agrarian prowess or how their farmlands fared in the last harvest. Among those who bear their stock is this farmer, Dr. Foster Ezenwa, who carves a specialty in the export of vegetables, cassava flour, and local pear, among other export goods. Dr. Ezenwa noted that the acceptability of farmers' products at the international market should serve as a striving pinnacle for both medium and large scale farmers. It's an original business that has relevance to life and living. So long as there is life, there must be farmers. When you don't have farmers, you don't have a nation, you don't have people. Mr. Christopher Okoli, who is the Anambra State Coordinator of Cassava Global 2000 Project, an African cassava agronomy project that empowers smallholder farmers, said the improvement of farmers from small-scale agriculturists to commercial farmers forms the bedrock of the association's blueprint, a model which they have perfected by improving the subsistence farming system through periodic trainings for farmers in rural areas of up to seven states in Nigeria. But the huge question is how to develop agriculture in the rural communities and make it a more acceptable economic venture, especially among the Timin Nigeria youth population who usually flinch at the hearing of farming. To improve their farming methods, the production and productivity of cassava and maize, and cassava, maize and rice. And uh, in so doing, we try as much, we have learning platform at various locations. We, we work in uh, 10 local governments here in Anambra State. Just as it is here, so it is in uh, about seven or eight uh, states in Nigeria. Mr. Alex Noroka, the head of Anambra Community Farmers Development Forum, argued that the misperception of farming as an alternative venture has contributed to its growing neglect, especially among the youth, and advocated inclusive desire to farm as the way out of the hunger triggered by the neglect of agriculture. Prince Ugochuku Obaleke, a livestock farmer, has been able to increase his agro margin with the help of loans from the Anambra Small Business Agency, ASBA, while Mr. Emeka Iluyalo, the manager director of fisheries and aquaculture business development agency fabda both of whom agreed that the history of agriculture despite the odd is bright given the huge supports of government and other developing systems that aid the fertility and expanse of the agri value chain have set everything in place and in motion to have self-sufficient uh, uh, fish production in Anambra State. Production is consistently and continuously increasing in Anambra State. The Anambra Small Business Agency, ASBA, provides soft loans for small and medium-scale entrepreneurs in Anambra State to push up their businesses and become part of the developmental drives of the present administration. The ASBA boss, Chief Clement Chukuka, said the success of Prince Obaleke's livestock farming paints a clearer picture of what the Anambra State government looks to achieve with agency and noted that the kidneys of Governor William Obiano in this direction and noted that the keenness of Governor Willie Obiano in this direction makes the objective even easier to achieve in Oka Daniel Ezigwe ABS News. Anambra State Government is poised to boost aquaculture 
as a sustainable industry in line with its agricultural blueprint. The Managing Director, Anambra Fisheries and Aquaculture Business Development Agency, Mr. Emeka Iloyalu, disclosed this during an interaction with fish sellers at Osei Market, Onicha. Odinaka Mwonisa has the rest of the report. Speaking, Mr. Iloyalu said the interactive visit was aimed at ensuring first-hand information and experience in establishing a common front and harmonizing the challenges and prospects in fish production. He said direct engagement and dialogue with fish producers, among others, will enable them to work out a business development plan in actualizing the state government's objective towards ensuring fish production capacity and volume for exports. We've seen the different uh, 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 fish markets, fresh fish markets, and the groups just in Anambra State uh, seems to have some seems to have some restrictions in uh, sales. So we have came to have a first-hand experience and uh, engage the fish sellers and the fresh fish dealers, so that we understand what actually is happening, where they have challenges. On his part, the state president Aquaculture Innovative Value Chain Initiative (AVCI) Prince Emeka Emeka pointed out that interaction will equip them with better knowledge and understanding in addressing issues as it affects fish production, appealing for regular interaction with stakeholders. We came to meet with the people that are selling to know whatever is their challenges. Because with them, we can be able to achieve the, this, the, the importance of uh, moving out this fish to the outside the country. Contributing the state chairman, Catfish and Allied Farmers Association, Kafan, Mr. King Boy Ihani Chuku, noted that interaction will help to champion a formidable force in harnessing the potentials and proper market arrangement for bumper harvest. We want to harmonize all the, all the dealers of fisheries in Anambra State be it the, the weight table fish to, to process the dry fish. Some of the fish producers who spoke to ABS, including Mrs. Nkiru Nemeka, exposed the team to some of their challenges in the production of different species of fish in the state. From Ose Market, Odenaka Ngolisa, ABS News. The Transition Committee Chairman of Oka South Council Area, Mr. Liu Muba has handed over a three-day-old baby abandoned at an erosion site behind girls' secondary school, Amenyi Oka, to the Ministry of Social Welfare, Children and Women's Affairs. Our correspondent, Chibuzo Obidike, reports that the baby boy who was picked up by some good Samaritans was handed over to the ministry at the local government headquarters, Amobia. The handover was witnessed by the four children between the ages of 9 and 14, who discovered the abandoned baby while on a snail hunt at about 10 p.m. last Saturday. The child, suspected to be dumped immediately after birth, was found in a black sack by the children who alerted their elder sister who quickly took the baby to a hospital for immediate attention before handing him over to the local government. Speaking, Mr. Mwoba noted that the council decided to hand over the newborn baby to the state to ensure his proper upbringing, stating that through the tender love of Chief Mrs. Ebelechiko Obiano, he will become a shining light for his peers. He described the child as a defined one who has survived death and thanked all who had played significant roles in his survival. Narrating the story of the new child, Ms. Onyekachi Eze said the child was brought to her by her siblings while on snail hunt, still in blood, of which she quickly cleaned him up and later took him to the hospital and police station for checkup and reports. For one of the snail hunters, Obina Onyebuchi, on sighting the black sack, they thought it was a dog. But a closer look showed that it was a newborn baby which they quickly ran home in fear to alert their sister who instructed them to bring the baby home. The Chairman Arewa Committee, the Chairman Arewa Community Association, Anambra State Chapter, Alhaji Ibrahim Jibril, says the state governor, Chief Willie Obiano, is making frantic efforts to ensure maximum security of lives and property of the state's citizenry. 
Al Haji Jibril stated this during a peacemaking meeting he had with the Hausa and the Igbo rice beans and dry meat dealers at Obom Rice Akunia in Jote Street, Ochanja, on its South Council area. And our correspondent, Emengini Osadebe, completes the story. Addressing the gathering, Al Haji Jibril, who is also a member of Katul Menes Control Committee in the state, said the visit was to create a good and lasting relationship between the Hausa and Igbo rice, beans and dry meat dealers at the market, describing Anambra State as the safest state in the country. He urged his people to be law-abiding and pursue peace at all times, rather than take laws into their hands, while calling on the market leaders to accommodate them in their midst. We find out that there is some small, small crisis that used to happen in this market between Hausa people and the Igbo people. So we don't want it to go forward. Let us clear it. The President General Wali Wale Out, Chief Gineka Enyoha, and Chairman Oborais Wali Wonicha, Regina Charles Ohia, applauded Governor Obiano for initiating the gathering, adding that they have been looking forward for such gathering and advised the Hausa traders to ensure they maintain peace by reporting any of their grievances to the market leadership appropriate action. Being the chairman of this place, I've been having a, sort of, a lot of uh, problems about all this, uh, like, uh, like this uh, Hausa and Dibo. Of it. But my advice is, we are brothers and sisters. But what I saw today is very, very marvelous. I love that. And my people, they are, they are, they are celebrating, joying, that this kind of gathering is supposed to be doing even every once in a year. The commander, Arawa Community Tax Force, Anambra and Delta State, Al Haji Tijani Jubril, called for peace and understanding among the traders, describing Nigeria as an indivisible entity, saying that nobody should take laws into their hands. The chairman, Hausa Rice, Beans and Dry Meat Dealers, Al Haji Ali Mustafa Lafani, and his vice, Al Haji Alison, expressed happiness over the meeting and prayed for peace to reign among the traders. Speakers at the meeting applauded the step taken by the governor while elogizing the cordial relationship between them at the market and urged the visiting team to explain to their kinsmen that they are one at the market. Emengino Sadebe, ABS News. And still to come on the news, women of Oka Anglican Diocese call on President Buhari to take urgent actions against insecurity. Do stay with us. We'll be back shortly. In all the cities and all the streets, in all the places where people meet, from Niger to Yonder, we got you talking. You are the one that's falling to keep you talking. Yeah! 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 Yeah!
the conference welcomed the new minimum wage initiative of the federal government but urged them to do more to eradicate poverty in the country. The women's conference commended Governor Willie Obiano and his wife, Ebele Chuku, for areas they have impacted lives, especially the regular payment of workers' salary and security of lives and property. Especially regular payment of workers' salary and security of lives and property. It is very critical for Anambra State Nigeria to consolidate on the security of lives and properties, which is an integral part of her greatest achievement. Speaking on the theme of this year's conference, hold fast to what you have till I come. The vicar Emmanuel Church Ukulu, Reverend Canon Bernard. Obiekwe explained that it is a call on women to hold their faith strongly and continue to be virtuous wives to their families and communities, no matter their living condition, in order to make heaven. These women, after going through the teachings, the seminars, the ministrations with this team, for them to hold fast. Hold fast means to have, to have faith, to exhibit love, to exhibit courage, you know, to exhibit charity. I think there will be a difference in their homes. In her speech, the president, Mother's Union, Home and Abroad, Emmanuel Church, Ukulu, Mrs. Njideka Angose, noted that the conference gives women opportunity to gather and take a stand on issues bordering the diocese, their families, Nigerian nation, Anambra State, and Profa Solutions. We realize from the conference, we use this to build like a, um, a content help the needy, we build a lot of things in order to help less village. From Ukulu, Chukwemeka, Mordelim, ABS News. And still on religious matters, the Anglican Bishop, Diocese of Niger West, Right Reverend Dr. Johnson Ekwe, has emphasized the need to give God praises at all times. Bishop Ekwe made the emphasis while presenting his presidential charge during the third session of the third synod of the diocese held at Emmanuel Anglican Church, Paris, Umweri, Anambra East Local Government Area. Injideka Okoye takes the story from here. Speaking on the theme of the Synod, the strategy of high praise is to God. Bishop Ewe charged the people to commit themselves to a life of praises to God and fellowship with Christ to experience the fullness of God. While enumerating ways of giving high praises to God and its benefits, Bishop Ewe, who commended Governor Uli Obiano for his giant stress in education, security, agriculture, among others, thanked him for his assistance to the church and solicited support for effective evangelism in the diocese. On your address, we take that hand off for what he has done for you. He has saved you and given you opportunity to know and love him. Remember, he loves you with an unconditional love and will not withhold his power from you. Our deepest gratitude, honor and glory will not be long. Praise him for who he is. Adopting the bishop's church as a working document in the diocese, the chancellor of the diocese and a former Anambra state chief judge, retired Justice Paul Obidiwe, noted that the address contained all it takes for effective evangelism, spiritual growth, and high praises to God. The traditional ruler of the community, Iwe Saben Emeka, who thanked God for the spread of the gospel in the area, described the theme as apt, especially now, adding that it will help in bringing people closer to God. For the Synod Clerical Secretary, Venerable Theophilus Edo, there are blessings in praising God, as according to him, one who sings praises is always happy and lives above his worries, while the vicar of the host church, Reverend Canon Silvanus Onyachulam, thanked God for his direction so far and urged the participants to practice what they garnered. 
The Synod was well attended by a host of archbishops, bishops, and government functionaries, among others. While the clergy, their wives, and other groups in the diocese appreciated the bishop amidst songs of praises. <laughs> From Emmanuel Anglican Church, Umweri, Njideka, Okoye, ABS News. And moving over to education, Capital City Secondary School, Oka, has emerged overall champions in the just-concluded quiz competition organized by the Sustainable Development Goals, SDGs Community Development Group of the National Youth Service Corps, NYSC. The event, which took place at St. John of God Secondary School, Oka, attracted students from selected secondary schools in and around Oka to test and increase intellectual competitiveness among the students. Our correspondent, Chibuzo Obidike, filed in this report. Sustainable Development Goals, CDGs, group of the NYSC, after screening 20 secondary schools in Oka, selected three schools for the quiz competition aimed at promoting quality education among schools. The participating schools were tested in mathematics, English, and current affairs. The keenly contested quiz saw Capital City clinching the first position with 46 points, leaving St. John of Goa Secondary School with 38 points at second position. Angloca Secondary School went home with the third position after scoring 36 points. They were appreciated with various categories of rewards. Depending on their positions, the representatives of the various schools, John Honor, Mary Jane Ubaka, and Abiora Jane, while easing out the tension from the questions, said that the competition aided them an opportunity to test their individual abilities in the subject areas and equally encouraged them to study harder in all subjects. It was not easy because everybody is intelligent, able with God, we are able to take the first position of the um, competition. Shown that help us to help us to be a good student, read more, research, and also have knowledge. Okay. Okay. The president of the CDG's group, Mr. Emmanuel John Miracle, said that the Sustainable Development Goals is a collection of 17 global goals set by the United Nations General Assembly in 2015 for the year 2030 to tackle poverty, hunger, health, education, gender equality, water and sanitation, affordable and clean energy, among others. He noted that the quiz competition is to awaken the students' activeness in school activities and to provide opportunity to assess their level in academic work. It's more theoretical, so that's why we encourage students to be hardworking and to develop a skill to be more creative and so that we can meet up to the 21st century pattern of education that has to do more with digital and practicals like that. So what we did today was to encourage people on, or students rather on how to be hardworking and to be creative, to make use of their brain. In Oka, Chibuzo Bidiki, ABS News. To stay updated, remember that you can follow our news and programs on ABS from any part of the world simply by liking our Facebook page, which is at ABS Radio Television. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash ABS Radio TV online. Follow us on our Twitter handle at ABS Radio TV and on Instagram at ABS Radio TV. You can also log on to our website at www.absradiotv.com. And before we end the news this evening, our main points for tonight. Farmers have intensified calls for easy access to funds as youths are encouraged to venture into agriculture. Women of Oka Anglican Diocese have called on President Buhari to take urgent actions against insecurity. And on that note, we end the news today. Many thanks for staying with us. I am Ifanaya Amafili. Good night. <laughs>